everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. So earlier this week, the Ethereum devs finally confirmed a proposed date for the Ethereum merge. So if we scroll down here, the proposed date is September 19th, 2022. And again, that is a tentative target date. But today being July 17th, 2022, we now have a window that we believe we're still going to be able to mine Ethereum. And that window is now two months. So of course this has uh, renewed a lot of the conversation about where all of the Ethereum hash rates going to migrate to. And because we have a better understanding of the current market, uh, I think we're going to be able to more accurately predict where this hash rate is going to move to. Now the secondary impact and what I wanna talk about, especially in this video, is what is the impact going to be on four gigabyte graphics cards that are being used to mine those algorithms or those coins where this hash rate's going to move to. So for me, it's a harsh reality that I've known was coming, but now I'm forced to accept this reality. And I wanna talk through where I think this is going to go with all of you today. So let's jump over to minor stat and look at the DAG size calculator. And, you know, of course, four gigabyte graphics cards have not been able to mine Ethereum for quite some time, but they have been able to mine other coins profitably. So Ravencoin, for example, uh, is mineable on four gigabyte graphics cards through July, 2023. If we scroll down, Ethereum Classic, uh, four gigabyte graphics cards can mine through July of 2025. Uh, a little further down, Ergo through April of 2025. Now on paper, this sounds great. It sounds like, well, we'll be able to keep mining with our four gigabyte graphics cards for the next several years and everything is gonna be great but I think the reality is going to look a little different. All right, so let's hop over to what to mine and let's take a look. So I've got a single RX 470 four gigabyte graphics card selected and I'm not changing any of the defaults in, uh, in what to mine. I know these aren't always the most accurate, but at least it gives us a starting off point. So I'm gonna assume 10 cents per kilowatt hour for electric rate. Let's go ahead and hit calculate and let's see what we've got. So right now, Ravencoin is the most profitable at 11 cents profit per day. And right behind that is Neoxa, which is also a Kapow based algorithm or Kapow based coin at 10 cents per day. And Ethereum Classic also at 10 cents, Beam at 6 cents, Ergo is at 2 cents. And I'm going to, so now we're into the negatives. I want to go take a look at one of the other most profitable coins right now, at, or the most popular, my apologies and that is Flux. And right now on an RX 474 gigabyte graphics card, we're losing nine cents per day. So this 1.24 mega hash or uh, mega souls, let's say, that's on Flux is most likely not made up of too many four gigabyte graphics cards. So I think it's safe to assume that there's not gonna be much impact to a four gigabyte graphics card on Flux based on the hash rate that we expect to come into Flux after the Ethereum merge. So let's scroll up to the next that I think is going to be the first one to be impacted, and that is Ergo. So right now, there's a couple of things with Ergo that need to be considered. Uh, we've got 10.32 terahash right now on Ergo, and on a four gigabyte graphics card, it is still profitable. So I do believe that a, a fair amount of this hash rate is probably going to be made up by four gigabyte graphics cards uh, the other thing to point out is the block reward is currently sitting at 48 and this block reward is dropping by three every three months. So by the time the merge happens, this block reward will most likely have dropped to 45 ergo per block. And again, that in and of itself is going to have an impact on the profitability, but then we're going to see an increase in the hash rate, which is going to push this profitability down even further. So I think what you're gonna see is four gigabyte graphics cards are going to be squeezed out of profitability for Ergo at the time of the merge. So let's keep working our way up and let's see what else we've got. So Beam currently is profitable at six cents per day. So this is one potential target for where our hash rate from a four gigabyte graphics card could go. So let's keep working our way up, Ethereum Classic. Right now we're at 22.37 terahash per second at 10 cent profitability. 
So again, this seems like it would be a good potential landing spot for our four gigabyte cards, but I do believe we're going to see a significant increase in the hash rate around the time of the merge from Ethereum ASICs that are going to be able to be reprogrammed to mine Ethereum Classic. So again, if that happens, we see a significant increase in this hash rate. And also, uh, you know, you may see miners move over their six gigabyte and higher graphics cards. So we may see a significant increase in the hash rate and most likely a significant reduction in profitability on our four gigabyte cards. So this doesn't seem like a very logical uh, landing spot. So the coins we have left are Ravencoin and Neoxa. Both are Kapow based algorithm. And I think this is going to be the most likely landing spot. And I think the reason for that is when we look at NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3090, those cards that have GDDR6X memory are likely gonna run very, very hot on Kapow based algorithms uh, because Kapow is very efficient at using a significant amount of the memory, significant amount of the core, uh, significant power draw, significantly higher than say on something like Ergo. And because of the higher power draw, the efficient use of memory and core, you're gonna see higher temperatures. And right now it is a really, really hot summer. And with this merge happening potentially in the middle of September, I think you're gonna have some reluctance for people moving over those GDDR6 X cards into Kapow based algorithms. And some of the, you know, a 3060, for example, is, is quite profitable on or mines Ergo quite well. So I think you're gonna see a lot of these cards moving to Ergo and probably even Flux before they would be moving over to Ravencoin and Neoxa. So the timing of Neoxa I think is great. It is currently profitable. It does have a very interesting use case. The proof of game and proof of work uh, together makes this a very intriguing project. And again, I think the timing is very good because it can be mined on a four gigabyte graphics card. So. My personal opinion, and that's all it is, I think the most likely landing spot for four gigabyte graphics cards is going to end up being Ravencoin and Neoxa. Now, if you think that there is something that I'm missing, or if you don't think that, uh, you know, kind of my talking through this makes any sense, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I do have a personal vested interest and making sure I find the best landing spot for my four gigabyte graphics cards. But I thought this was something that was worth discussing. Certainly want to get this out there for the public to start thinking about. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. Uh, again, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and hope you have a great rest of your day.